Do you really know how to use the Apple Pencil? Most people only use it for writing and drawing, but actually, it has many hidden features. After this video, you'll definitely unlock more tricks. When your iPad screen is off, just tap it with the Apple Pencil and you can instantly open notes to jot something down. Super convenient. If you swipe up from the bottom left corner, you can take a quick screenshot, and after the screenshot, you can mark it up right away. Tap the text recognition icon at the top right, and it will recognize the text in the image, even handwriting. You can copy, paste, share, or organize it directly. To delete the screenshot, just tap the trash can icon. If you're in a browser, you can do more than just capture the current screen. You can also save the whole web page as a long screenshot. Use the scroll bar on the right to preview the entire page. Want to save it? Tap the export button at the top right. Don't need it, just delete it. Next, swipe up from the bottom right corner, and you'll open Quick Note. For example, when reading a document, you can quickly jot down ideas or highlights without switching apps, inside notes or Word. Apple Pencil can also act as an editing tool. Double tap the screen to select nearby text. Triple tap to select a whole paragraph. You can even use the pencil like a mouse to precisely move the cursor, making it much easier to insert or edit text. Once the cursor is placed, you can also use handwriting to text input. In any search bar, just write with the pencil and it will turn into typed text. Want to delete? Simply scribble over the text. Want to add a space? Just draw a vertical line between words. Long press the pencil and it will leave a wide blank space. If you don't continue writing, the space disappears. If you do, your new words will fill in that gap. In Word, long pressing creates a line break instead. To enable handwriting to text, go to Settings, Apple Pencil, and turn on Scribble. Now let's look at pencil gestures in note-taking apps. If you double tap the side of the Apple Pencil with your finger, it switches between the current tool and the eraser. To enable this, go to Settings, Apple Pencil, find Double Tap, and choose the action you prefer. There's also a new feature called Squeeze. While writing, lightly squeeze the pencil and a curved toolbar will pop up. You can quickly switch between the pen, highlighter, eraser, and more without reaching up to the top menu every time. Again, go to Settings, Apple Pencil, find Squeeze, and set it to whatever you like. You can even adjust the sensitivity to avoid accidental triggers. In GoodNotes, the Apple Pencil becomes even more powerful. Draw a rough shape and hold. It automatically turns into a perfect circle, triangle, rectangle, or straight line. Handwritten notes can be converted into typed text, even math formulas. The pencil's shadow rotates as you rotate it, so different writing angles give different strokes. This is technically a software feature, but it's an essential part of the pencil experience. One of the most important features of Apple Pencil is pressure sensitivity and tilt support. Press harder and your strokes get thicker. Tilt the pencil and you can shade just like with a real pencil, perfect for sketching and shading. Also, both the Apple Pencil 2 and the Apple Pencil Pro support magnetic charging, and you can check their real-time battery level right on the iPad screen. And that's all the Apple Pencil tips I have for you. Did you learn something new today? Let me know in the comments which feature you use the most, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up.